Emanuel Swedenborg was a very prolific writer and some of his theological works were translated recently into this new century edition. Now, most, all of them, all of these new century edition versions with uh, nice new translations and easy to, uh, easy to read uh, modern language translations um, are all available to read uh, as Kindle editions for pennies, uh, less than a dollar each. Uh, you can find them for free uh, to read as PDFs if you um, uh, don't want to support the Swedenborg uh, Foundation at all. Um, uh, you can get them as quite nice paperback editions or you can get them as hardcovers. Now they're not all available as hardcover editions and um, uh, two of the most popular ones which were previously um, um, bound under a, sing a single volume, uh, namely uh, Divine Love and Wisdom and uh, Divine Providence. Uh, those will be republished very soon. Uh, they're just writing the introductions for them uh, as we speak, uh, as, as individual volumes uh, to append to this existing collection. So that's, that's, uh, that's great. But uh, yeah, if you want them as a single volume, if you want them combined as a single volume, uh, you have to get that second hand. Um, and uh, yeah, it can be quite difficult to source. So uh, let me give you a, a quick look. Here is Heaven and Hell, which happens to be probably the, uh, uh, the, the, the best known <laughs> of Swedenborg's theologian, uh, theological books. Uh, it was a great influence on William Blake. Uh, in fact, Aldous Huxley used the title for the second half of his um, uh, 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 book on um, the, the Doors of Perception, right? Uh, the Doors of Perception, of course, being taken from Blake and Heaven and Hell being taken from Emanuel Swedenborg. William Blake wrote uh, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, um, uh, which was a direct uh, reference to this book over here. I just wanted to give you a close look at the quality of the publication. The, the, um, the contents, they're so easy to procure. I, I, I'm not going to spend um, much time talking about it other than to say that, well, in his 50s, um, early 50s, Emanuel Swedenborg had a, a, a very deep religious experience. Uh, in fact, a spiritual experience. He um, uh, was... Uh, well, the, the story goes that he was admitted into heaven and uh, in fact spent the second half of his life um, with one foot in both realms. Uh, so he was uh, uh, writing his books and attending to his uh, other um, obligations and, uh, and engagements uh, whilst also partaking in this uh, parallel life uh, with the spirits um, and um, and in this in this secondary mm, secondary uh, he would have called it primary uh, realm um, some people who have had uh, experiences with DMT uh, I read the book by Rick Strassman Dr Richard Strassman um, uh, the spirit molecule which kind of describes exactly that experience, the experience of being in fact in two places at the same time and uh, yeah who knows that that m might in fact have been what the, uh, the, the, the chemical process was for him uh, or at least the, um, the, the mechanical process was for him but the effect was that yeah he, he felt like he was both on earth and in heaven simultaneously. And he spent yeah, the, the rest of his life uh, describing that experience and, um, and uh, yeah, going into detail about what the implications are for humankind and so on and so forth. So as you can see, it's a really, really beautiful volume. Uh, the, the, it's got some really nice two-tone um, uh, uh, printing. The, the writing is very, very clear, very nice and large, uh, very easy to read. As you can see, the language is 
designed to be understandable by the modern reader. This was originally written in Latin, of course. Um, in fact, it's possible to get the original Latin edition in hardcover as well. Uh, it spans dozens and dozens and dozens of volumes. It's, uh, it's enormous. Uh, but uh, but yes, uh, I, I my my goal is not to read every single word that Emanuel Swedenborg ever wrote in the Latin and its translation, but rather to get a um, a good idea of what his ideas were. And yeah, this this edition has been put together specifically by the Swedenborg um, uh, Association. Uh, ah, I'm afraid I, I'll, I'll, I'll write to you the details uh, of it down below and their website and so on and so forth. So you can directly, um, well, you can actually directly order from them. Um, you can also uh, find out a lot more about Emanuel Swedenborg and his ideas and his influence on, um, uh, on uh, modern mystics and, uh, and, and mystics from the 18th century on um, uh, through their through their website and through their blog, it's all very very interesting. There's a very long introduction here. We've got uh, about about seventy pages, if I if memory serves correctly, uh, or possibly even more. Yeah, eighty four pages, including appendices to the introduction. Um, uh, so yeah, um, there's a bibliography for the introduction. Um, yeah, appendix. Two is that chronological table, and Appendix One, <clears throat> some Baroque ideas on life after death, and on heaven and hell, probably for just for for, for comparison, right? Uh, and yeah, sixty-four page introduction, uh, with its own index at the very back. So at the back there are several indices. Um, there are the notes. So um, throughout the throughout the book, wherever there's a there's a footnote, those notes are uh, written at the at the back of the book. And then you have da, 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 da. just while I'm searching here, just, just want to talk about the the quality of the paper. It's lovely. It's really, really nice. Um, it smells like 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 great old books, you know, it smells so, so nice. Um, mm -mm -mm. Works cited in the notes, and then here we are: the index to preface, introduction, and notes. Uh, and then there's a further index uh, to actual heaven and hell. There's also right here. There's a table of parallel passages. Um, there we go. So that's, uh, yeah, hopefully a, 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 a first look at the book. I just wanted to show you the, the quality of the, of the materials used. It's a very, very nice gold stamp. All of the books came uh, shrink-wrapped. Some of them came shrink-wrapped with this label on the plastic. Some of them came with the label actually on the book. I haven't bothered to remove uh, them because they're, uh, they're actually quite um, uh, in, inconspicuous. Um, I, I might get round to it eventually, um, as, as we discovered uh, recently, uh, thanks to the Kibalian, um, uh, using a uh, very high percent, percentage uh, alcohol uh, can, can work very well. But on a book like this, where the color is, is um, uh, yeah, di directly applied to the cover here. I don't know how well that would survive being rubbed with alcohol. Uh, some people report uh, that using a hairdryer, uh, a warm hairdryer, uh, works very well. And some people say that actually keeping it in very cold environments uh, work very well. Um, I may or may not, as I say, get round to, to removing that. Um, yeah, so that's it. The um, the Swedenborg, the new century hardcover Swedenborg collection. It's it's a 
it's, it's yeah, it's, it's essential <laughs> for me at least. You know, uh, for me, William Blake and um, Aldous Huxley really are essential and central to uh, my understanding, my model of how the universe works. And if this is where they um, they drew inspiration, then uh, then yeah, this is this is information for me. To note, of course. Uh, William Blake did repudiate uh, uh, the the church that was um, uh, put together by Emanuel Swedenborg, the Church of New Jerusalem, uh, um, uh, towards when was it? Uh, was, yeah, I'm, I, I I I I can't remember if it's 1790 or or or, or earlier, ah, whatever. Anyway, um, the point is that. Um, uh, he was very interested. He was he engaged very fully with with uh, Swedenborg's ideas, um, and then came to his own conclusions one way or another, and may have uh, accepted some parts and and rejected others. But certainly, um, it seems like a very very interesting uh, uh, set of ideas. Uh, there we go. I hope the video was useful for you. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and I'll see you very soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.